Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Friday. Today is October 18th, 2024. I think I got up everything up and running. I haven't tested any of this. I just plugged and we're basically playing. Guys, as you know, every Friday we bring you the Stats and Facts Fridays in under four minutes. I'm covering the number of transactions that have taken place in the Halifax Dartmouth region of the province, also known as Novel. Nouvelle Ecosse, Nova Scotia. Sold, average price points, average list prices, days on the market, all that stuff we share in, in under that 242nd mark. Um, and that's it. Let's jump into it. I love it. Okay, last seven days, Halifax Dartmouth region of Nova Scotia. Residentially speaking, number of new listings, 116. There are 102 conditional sales that have taken place in the last seven days, meaning the buyers have offered, the sellers have accepted, the buyers are now in their process of doing their due diligence. But the number that you guys look for the most is how many were sold, and that number is 84. Average list price for those 84, approximately $561,000. Average sale price, $557,000. Average days on the market for those was 31 days. Highest transaction in terms of the most expensive residential home that sold was $1.5 million. And the total amount of money that exchanged hands from a buyer to a seller was approximately $47 million. And you guys can see it was about 100% list to ask ratio in that graph that just popped up. Um, on a multi-unit side, number of new listings that hit the market in the last seven days, nine. Total amount that sold, seven. Average list price for those uh, seven was $600,000. Average sale price for those seven was approximately $585,000. So on average about 15K under the uh, list price or asking price, days on the market on average was 25. The highest price transaction was less than half of what the highest price transaction was for a single family home. It was $630,000. And the total amount of money exchanging hands from a buyer to a seller on those seven transactions was $4 million. What does that mean? That means most of these multis are duplexes and triplexes. It also means that some of these are going to be really good investments for some of these buyers. To have the finance to purchase a $1.5 million home is nice. We're probably in that wheelhouse of buying a duplex for 600,000, living in one and renting on the other. Also nice. Guys, my name is Peter Gronis, entrepreneur, licensed realtor, property manager, owner, among other things. And every, every Friday, I bring you guys the Stats and Facts Fridays in under four minutes. And the high overreach, big picture of why I even talk to you guys is my goal is to collect information from people that are smarter than me, more educated than me, more experienced than I am, from reading the books like the ones you see over my shoulder, from indulging in articles, so on and so forth and sharing that information with all of you in hopes of getting you somewhere along the line in an upward trajectory from where you are in life to where you want to be if you haven't subscribed to the channel hit the subscribe button right now that's it man pdg last friday of the month i'm lying so many more one love